What's up guys, Sammy here, and today I have a review of the QNAP TVS-672XT, which is a NAS or network attached storage device, featuring an 8th generation Intel i3-8100T 4-core 3.1GHz processor, 8GB of DDR4 memory, with 6 hot swappable bays for 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch drives, and 2 M.2 SATA SSDs can be installed within the unit as well. Taking a look inside the box you'll find a power cable, 2 gigabit ethernet cables, a 10G base-T ethernet cable, flathead screws for 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch drives, however screws for 3.5 inch drives are not required. Also, you'll find two M.2 SSD heat sinks and a quick installation guide. Taking a look at the QNAP TVS 672 XT itself, you'll find on the front you have those six hot swappable bays, and as you can see, installation of the drives is very simple. Next, you have that power button, a USB port with a instant copy button, which is useful for transferring data from a USB drive to the NAS. You've also got some status LED indicators for the hard drive to show drive activity, and an LCD display to show you some more information about the NAS, and you can use these buttons next to them to see information about your QNAP NAS, including storage space available, and the ability to change the network configuration settings. On the back of the QNAP TVS-672XT, you'll find an assortment of ports. Starting from the top, we've got two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 ports. Unfortunately, in this review, I wasn't able to test out the speeds of Thunderbolt 3, but theoretically, you'll be able to achieve 10 gigabits per second connectivity. Next to that, you have your built-in power supply, which is a must in a unit such like this. You also have expansion for another PCIe device, such like a graphics card or an SFP Plus PCIe card. Below this, you have a HDMI 2.0 port for use with QNAP's HD station application at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 at 60Hz, a 10 gigabit RJ45 Ethernet port, also included are two USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C ports and two Type-A USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports that both run at 10 gigabits per second. There are also two 1 gigabit Ethernet ports. Below that you'll find a Kensington security slot and lastly you'll find a microphone and lineout port. As you can tell the QNAP TVS-672XT has an ample amount of cooling with two 9.2 centimeter system fans and two 6 centimeter blower fans of which the power supply also has its own cooling fan and ventilation for the unit is also good. Setup of the QNAP TVS-672XT is pretty straightforward and I was able to migrate my drives from another QNAP NAS easily. I did some benchmarks using 10 gigabit ethernet connectivity where I was using four 6 terabyte WD Red Pro NAS drives in a RAID 0 configuration to test raw performance and I was seeing read speeds of an impressive 1236 megabytes per second and write speeds of an also impressive 930 one megabytes per second. So really using that 10 gigabits per second connectivity to its full potential, which is what I like to see. I also did a large transfer test with a 10 gigabit test file where I saw an average transfer speed of 900 megabytes per second and a real world transfer test with my video production folder, which is nearing 900 gigabytes of data with a transfer rate of 470 megabytes per second from an NVMe PCIe SSD on my PC. So there'd be no bottlenecks. These results mean that it's great for video editing and scrubbing through the timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. It also means that I can render everything to the NAS itself. So it's perfect for a team of video editors. However, it'll depend depend on your drive configuration. Performance wise for media consumption using Plex Media Server, I'm able to comfortably play back 4K HDR content with little to no buffering, so it's perfect as a media server solution. That being said, who is this for? It offers a lot of expandability, so it's great if you just want to start with a few drives and build your way up. If you also wanted to, you could probably upgrade the CPU, although it seems fine in my opinion. Another option would be to add some more memory, but otherwise it's a great performing NAS that's perfect for a business or someone looking to set up a media server at home. I also really like its design and I'd be proud to showcase it in my setup. But that's going to wrap it up for my review of the QNAP TVS-672XT. A special thanks to QNAP for providing this to the channel for review. Anyways, hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.